What's up, buddies? Concert buddy. Had to drop a video today. Usually I do it on the weekends, but the record store day list dropped on a Wednesday. So naturally, I felt compelled to just craft a quick one. Drop it like it's hot. Drop, drop it like it's hot. Look, CMB, make it drop it like it's hot. Give you my initial thoughts on the list. And also throw on a little extra footage. I got a box set that I had ordered almost a year and a half ago. Finally showed up. Uh, if you saw on Instagram, I did post a little bit of a teaser because I was excited for this one. So uh, stick around and I'm going to show you what I think about that. So see you in a bit. Boom. Alright buddies, as I said in a jump, record store day list finally dropped. I think it was about noon my time on a Wednesday. So, you know, usually these things have a little bit of warning, but if you'd kind of been reading the tea leaves in the vinyl community, I think Mike at the InGroove in a recent video said he hadn't even seen the list to start ordering from a shop perspective. So a little bit of a surprise, but it is kind of about that time of year where we kind of start, to, at least some leaks start coming out. And I know some information, like I know JC in his video uh, had mentioned a couple titles that uh, he had got information on were going to be part of the Record Store Day list. But uh, hey, the official list is here. So I'm going to walk you through it, give you my thoughts, uh, some decent stuff. Um, I do know that they're going to do two drops this year there's gonna be the one on the 23rd of april and then another one in june my guess is probably and i'm just gonna i'm gonna i'm gonna spitball it probably 20 percent of that april list my guess is gonna probably get pushed to june and i say that because there's just so many variables right now in the global supply chain as a whole but particularly when it comes to uh, vinyl production so I'm not willing to make a, a, a big financial wager on this. I just have a gut feel that uh, because this has been happening the last two years, right? Some titles kind of slip back to another you know, drop date or they just fall out of the record store day for that year. So hopefully I'm wrong. Knock on wood would be great, but uh, I'm gonna imagine that some of those titles from April are gonna go into the June bucket. But let's walk through the list and then I'm gonna show you this uh, box set I got, the Matchbox 20 career spanning box set that Again, a year and a half in the making. I ordered this in September of 2020, and here we are almost a year and a half later, and it finally showed up. So uh, let's get into it. It's got to give the people what they want. Yeah. You got to give the people now. Give the people what they want. All right, here we go. Page one of the list. Allison Chains. Really wish that was tripod. Another 12-inch EP is nice, but it's just I don't want to pay $400 for a tripod. Help us. Chet Baker, Live in Paris, interesting. Belle Biv DeVoe Poison, I'm sure that'll find a home. Art Blakey, Bowie's always synonymous with Record Store Day. Some more releases, that's cool. Dave Brubick Trio, cool. Mariah Carey, number ones. There's Gambino, I'm sure that'll be a real popular selection. Craft with some more Collective Soul, nice. Cranberries, Remembering Dolores, maybe it's a tribute album. Devo, I heard that's a picture disc, and I really hope it's not. Stop with the picture disc, RSD, please. Some Bill Evans resonance stuff. That's always a, usually an RSD staple. Foo Fighters 7-inch, cool. Jerry Garcia, yeah. Debbie Gibson, oh, no. No one is going to want Debbie Gibson. Stop. LA Guns, yeah, I'm always a fan of adding hair metal to this these lists because... It's hard to find. It's really hard to track down. You can make a whole record story of hair metal. Jackson 5, ABC. That got pushed off a couple of hours. Diesel Go. Jazz Sabbath. Nice. That was a popular selection. Volume 1 before. Elton John, another steward of record store day. Lil Wayne. Yeah, it's a CD. Gosh. Uh, no more CDs on these lists. Come on now. Madonna. Dance Club remix. Willie, cool, live. Stevie Nicks, Belladonna, I mean, it's been reissued. Finally, please did that. So this, that feels like a cash grab. Offspring Greatest Hits, cool. Art Pepper meets the rhythm section. Mono, Craft, that's probably going to be good. The Ramones box set, yeah, now we're talking. Love it. Chili Peppers, Unlimited Love, that's just some convenient marketing. That's their new album. You can get that a million different ways. Rockabye Baby, those are interesting sometimes. Marvin Gaye, I'm not sure. I'm real excited about that. 
St. Vincent. St. Vincent, I think she was an RSC ambassador years ago, so she's always contributing to the event. That's that's cool. Taylor Swift, 7-inch. We'll get those elbows ready to push out those 12-year-old girls in the bins. I'm telling you, it's coming. Pete Townsend. Well, U2. U2 is clogging up the pressing plants with these stupid 12-inch singles and stuff they always put out. I mean, ugh, do better, guys. Bono, come on now. I know Edge would do better if he was in charge. Breaking. Oh, my gosh. Did I just see breaking? <laughs> Daddy, now we're talking turbo and ozone in the house. Gerard Way has an alien. I'm sure that'll be a popular one. Some John Williams stuff. Man, he's, but he's in his 90s, I think. That's going to be a real shame when he passes away. June 18th. Here we go. Now, this, this is the part I got real excited. There's a Miles Davis one. I know everyone's excited about Daughtry and getting that new Daughtry album. No, Soccer Moms, yes. Everyone else, no. Pearl Jam, Live on Two Legs. Probably the thing I'm most excited about. I'm curious what's going to be on that. I need to look at the track list. Prince, Prince 2LP, The Gold Experience. Another, that's, man, that's a really interesting. Victor Vaughn, so there's some of that doom, hip-hop. Eh. And that's the list, folks. All right, buddy. So as I led in the, uh, the intro, Matchbox 20 box set finally... Finally! 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 Has hit my vinyl collection. Uh, I got it uh, just a couple days ago and opened it right up. Of course, uh, you know, I think it was Brian on Brian's Vinyl Records that uh, I'll leave a link below for his channel. He beat me to the punch. I already put a review video out, but a lot of the sentiments that he expressed are definitely shared. This uh, this box set's pretty nice, pretty solid. Um, you get this uh, nice little insert book that's you know got a lot of photos and some story of the band stuff. And um, originally, I think this was supposed to be 24 pages, but the band uh, was able to add I think an additional 12, so it went from 24 to 36 pages, which is cool. Black and white, cool. Always like this kind of stuff. Um, I will say that, um, I guess the question on everyone's mind, was it worth the wait? I mean, I'd like to say yes. Um, I will say that, you know, when you look at the records that were included in this, obviously their debut 1996, uh, yourself or someone like you. I already had a couple copies of this, and I say that not as a boastful thing, but this was literally this and Exile on Main Street were the only records for a long time that you could get on wax for Matchbox 20. So I do have a first pressing of this. Pull it up here. So I got this from a local shop, Dead Wax Records. Jeremy always hooking it up. So this was a, a, a one of my, gosh, I would say one of my most cherished records I have in the collection. And then I think it was a couple of years ago they they put out. I want to say 2000. I'm gonna get this wrong. 2017 or 18, they put out a reissue on red vinyl, which is crazy because for a long time you could get it under twenty dollars. And then I looked the other day when this came out, and what you know, it's like like a hundred dollar record. And it's like, did no one know that this box set was coming out? So pretty wild. I will say that you know the quality of the box set is pretty nice. It's individually numbered, um, so they put it. I said flip this around. Ah. So everything is in the, kind of like this silver foil. It's pretty clean looking. The box is white. Um, you know, I, I have mixed feelings on the fact that the jackets are in black and white as well. I would have liked, particularly since some of these titles have never been on vinyl before, it would have been awesome if these would have been in color. But I understand the motif that they're going for, you know, trying to keep it, I guess, uh, aesthetically similar. Uh, Mad Season, never been on vinyl before. Oh, gosh. This is like bringing back so many memories. I mean, I think yourself or someone like you was 1996. This is the year 2000. I mean, this is like taking me back to like college years, right? And then the one that I had to play right away, which is arguably my favorite Matchbox record, is More Than You Think You Are. And I almost jumped to track three, Bright Lights, because that's my absolute favorite Matchbox song. But I did play it through. I mean, again, like, been craving this on vinyl for the longest time. So that's kind of what's made waiting for this box at just, you know, so, I, I guess, uh, so mind-numbing, right? And, you know, if 
if the rumors out there are true that it was delayed because those test pressings that came back to the band were not satisfactory, then tip of the cap to Rob and the boys because, you know, they do, I mean, at least that's advertising that they do care about quality and giving their fans quality stuff. So, you know, with a lot of 90s and 2000s records, definitely going to assume these were sourced from a digital source. But even though they were, I mean, they sound all in all pretty good, right? You turn them up a little bit and they sound all right. But, um, you know, this album was their most recent album a couple years ago, North, never been on vinyl. So, um, you know, this is one I threw on because uh, track three is the song my wife and I danced to at our wedding, Overjoyed. Not to be a big cheese ball, but, um, you know, it has some sentimental attraction to us. Um, I just noticed a corner ding on the Exile on Main Street insert here, so that's kind of a bummer, but... God! Uh, you know, I guess perfection can't be expected all the time, so that's kind of a drag, but I already do have that one because they did release that previously. So I got this before it started getting, like, crazy money a couple of years ago. Um, so, you know, yeah, corner ding, that's kind of a drag, especially because, you know, again premium product, premium price, but you would hope that, uh, you know, that wouldn't happen. But, you know, here we are. You know, the vinyl is the imperfect art, as they say. So another thing I would have changed about the box set, uh, outside of the black and white photography slash color choice, palette choice on each of the albums is, you know, they came in paper sleeves. Like, when will we stop sending records in paper sleeves? Like, this should be Vinyl 101. Are you kidding me? Like going forward, like there should be an embargo on paper sleeves unless absolutely an emergency. You have no sleeve or paper sleeve. Paper sleeve makes sense in that situation. For a box set that's delayed a year, plus I really don't think you should be sending it with paper sleeves. Because I did have a couple of the records when I checked them out initially and re-sleeved them. A little bit of paper burning there, but again, I'm like what are you going to do? So. Paper sleeves, like, you know, friends don't let friends use paper sleeves. Remember that. I get angry just thinking about it makes me mad. So all in all, happy with the box set. Um, I seriously doubt that they'll probably reissue Mad Season or more than you think, or even North as standalone releases. So this was probably the only way to get them. I don't know if they're still selling them on the website and if they are, if they're back order. I, I, you know, I'm just glad I got mine and I'm glad that I would say the National Nightmare is over, but for a Matchbox 20 fan like myself, um, at least this is now in my hands and on my turntable. So happy to add this to the collection. What do you guys think? What are your thoughts on the Record Store Day list? What are your thoughts on this box set? Uh, go ahead and leave a comment below. As always, engagement is my number one desire on this channel. So please let me know what you think about the channel about the record store day list, about this box set, about the fact that I wear this hat in almost every video. But uh, until then, until that next video drops, if you get a chance, just spin it. See ya. Well, well, well. How the turntables. Well, we out of time.